Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to Nerd Gadget. Now, today we're going to talk about the Domi Fan triple screen laptop screen extender. And I'm going to show you how to set it up, how versatile it is, and my thoughts to see if it's worth the option. Now, I'll be talking more about this laptop extender right after this. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. But before I do so, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe as it truly will help my channel out. All right, let's have a close look first. All right, take a look here on the side. Brand in there. Brand in there. And you can see all the accessories that come inside of the packaging the different ways you can view the extended monitors. With that stated, let's officially unbox it. Pull that off. Let's get rid of that. As you can see here, the included bag for easy travel packing. So that's really cool. Of course you have the manual. All right, some more documentation on how to use it. The different positions that you can arrange the extended monitors. So really nice. Different cables, right angle type C to type C. What we have here, another one. Put this down there. All right, so pretty cool there. Type C to type A female, and then it's USB type A. Type C to HDMI. Type C, type A. Another type C to type A. So you have the sleeve stand and then you have the single stand. Now my laptop has two full type C ports on it. So I should be able to use both of these here. Let's take this out. All right, let's take a closer look at it. You can see R for right, L for left. All right, turn it over. You got an R here as well. All right, you look down here, you can see the different ports, USB-C with DP. Then you have Type-C port one, Type-C port two, and then you have the power button, or it looks like a wheel actually. You can see that. Now, without going any further, just wanna cover some quick specs. Laptop screen extenders are 15.6 inches each, Full HD, which is 1080p, and it states here 80% NTSC, no software required. It's simply plug and play, which works for Macs, Windows, Chrome, Android. The screens are detachable, so you can adjust how you want to view it, be it this way, this way, so you have different options. And it also states here, you can even use it with your Nintendo Switch or even Xbox. Now there are two options you can choose from as far as using this. Option one, it states here, ensure that your laptop has two full function USB type C ports. Now for option two, it states here, ensure your laptop has one full function USB type C, one HDMI port, and also one USB type A port. It states it can solve compatibility issues with Windows, Mac OS M1, M2, or M3. All right, so it's nice that this is also included. Get a closer look so you would know which one I'm talking about here. All right, there you go. Has a little laptop 
icon right here. For the single stand, as you can see, it has this carbon fiber design on the back. And this also rotates. I think it states it here somewhere, right there. So this is how you're able to have your monitor facing upward like this or sideways or you know, your desired viewing angle. So let's go ahead and open this up. And again, it has a design on the back here, that carbon fiber look. So let's pull this part out. This way. There we go. Take that off here. And just go ahead and separate the monitors. Now pay attention to the letters. If you're confused on which side goes to which side, L goes with L, as you can see there. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm sliding right in place. There you go. Left side is done. Let's go ahead and do the right. Let's go ahead and slide it in place. And it lines right up. There you go. All right, so I'm going to turn this over. Maybe easier for me to just close it first. Flip it over. And stand it up. All right, pop it open here. And of course, you only can go so far. There you have it. Now this piece right here opens up and serves as a kickstand. Now you may be wondering, which side do you open? How do you know? You can see that the label here is near the top. You get the small space here. So it's down here that you pull to open up. Okay. So, we're turning this around. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in these cables on each side. So that way this could be ready for my laptop. Plug in the straight, not the right angle. The right angle should go into your laptop. I'm going to choose type C, C1. All right. And do the same thing over here. Just plug it into the first one. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it back around. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my laptop. All right, so I'm plugging in the first one. And I'm going to plug in the second one. All right. Now, last thing you need to do is open up the kickstand like I mentioned before. Then adjust this, you know, this slides, this can close and open, depending on the size of your laptop screen. You kind of line it up close like I'm doing now and then push it. So that way it's somewhat even according to your laptop screen. And then pull this back together, let it rest. Now, as you can see, it was just that simple. All right. Now, these two are duplicated while this one is extended. As you can see, my pointer is bouncing back and forth. But over here is duplicated, as you can see. Now, you can fix that. Pretty simple. All you need to do is right click over here on this monitor. Go to display settings. You're going to drop down that extend. Just like that. Keep changes. And you could rearrange so that you're able to go from this screen all the way over here without being confused on which screen is which. All you need to do is identify which screens. So let's go ahead and do this. So you got two, one, and three. 
Now for me, as you can see there, two, after hitting identify, it's over there. One is here, and then three is here. So I move two from over here, over here, and move the three over here. And once I hit apply, so let me make sure I come back here. Now, once I hit apply, now you can see that I'm able to come over here, scroll over here, and also scroll over here. So that's how that works. Pretty simple. And now you have multiple screens to play with. So I can move this over here and I can move this one over here. All while being portable. Now check this out. How cool is that? Now, if you're wondering how you can rotate your screen, it's quite simple. You're just gonna right click on an empty spot on your desktop. Again, go to display settings. And this is the one here, select it. And then you're going to choose, scroll down here. And then right here, display orientation. And we can go to portrait. And that's it. I got to flip it because it's upside down. So I'm going to revert back. Then go back here. Portrait flipped. That's the one we want. This bottom one. All right. And we're going to turn it like this. And that's that. And I'm going to keep the changes. All right. Let's close that out. And there you have it. Almost like a tablet view. Oh, made a mistake there. But almost like a tablet. Look at that. And I still have this over here that I can maneuver. Of course, I can come over here and do what I need to do over here. So, very versatile. Definitely digging it. And I definitely think this is a keeper. Now, one last thing I'm going to show you with this. Probably wondering, when do these come into play? Well, I'll show you right now. So as you can see, I disconnect the laptop for now. So let's go ahead and just, I'll leave it right here. It's running out of juice, so I had to plug it up. And I'm going to bend this here. And then we're going to slide this out. Scoot this up some so you can see it better. I'm just going to hold it. I'm not putting my hand on the screen. I'm just holding like the bezel and then pushing it this way while I'm holding on to the arm. That's it. Comes right off. All right, so you can see that shape. This is how that lines up. Goes right in. All right, now next, this carbon fiber design should be facing towards you as you install it. So this side should be facing away from you. So just drop it in here. All right, so that takes care of that. Let's turn it this way. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this just like so. So you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna install it like that, all right? That's installed. So now we can bend this down, rotate this. Like a stack monitor setup. Let's push this back some more. Look at that setup. Tell me that's not dope. Then let's go ahead and get the cords. Let's connect the laptop. Let's pop that open. Let's unlock it. You got stuff flipped and upside down. It's because they're rearranged. 
but look how nice that is, right? Space saver. Switch these around like I showed you before. And there you have it. How cool is that, right? Over here. Right, you got that going. Then I can go ahead and actually move this one. Let's go over here. And that's going there too. And of course I have my laptop screen that's ready to go there. Look at that. How nice is that? Now, I also forgot to mention that these screens, these extended screens, they also have speakers. Let's see. Oh, that's showing upside down. That's because the monitor thinks that it's a different way, but still, as you see, it says volume. All right. Very, very nice. Let's do this, lift this up. And then you have it this way. Push this down some, push this back some so you can get a full view of it. How dope is that? Again, I'm gonna go here. Right click, go to display settings. Let's go ahead and keep that. Minimize this, or yeah, we can minimize it because I'll come back here later. Open this up. And look at that. It's ready to go. I mean, you have so many options. So many options. And at the same time, it keeps you portable. So you can take this anywhere. You have all these different screens. You can work. Imagine working from home or you're on the road, you're traveling, and you can just set up shop and do your work without needing your monitors that's at home. And again, it all sits flat. When you're done, the laptop is already sandwiched that way. And then you pack the extended monitor in there. You even have a section here maybe a mouse pad and a mouse that you can drop in here. And you're all set and ready to go. So let me know what you guys think about this setup. Do you think it's worth the investment? I definitely think it is. I mean, like I said, it all depends on how you want to use this and how you want to view it. You're not stuck to just having the wing look, you know what I mean? You can switch it up this way or have them both landscape stacked on top of each other. Or if you don't want to even use two monitors, you have the option to just use one. Very versatile. Now, if you're interested in a Domi Fan triple screen laptop screen extender, go ahead and use the link that's in the description section of this video. Now, this completes my unboxing setup for the Domi Fan triple screen laptop screen extender.